what is going on people welcome back to another video on aj5 and in today's video guys it's all about bonk and yes guys he has a green candle and it is up just over 13 percent currently valued at this value here so we're going to be going through where is bonk heading to next is it going to pump soon is it going to crash further or is it going to stabilize around its current price range and also looking at what is the best option right now is it to keep holding it is it to invest into it or if you're on a profit is it to sell it and take out your profit and we're going to be looking at its prediction over the next couple of hours days weeks months and overall in 2024 what can we expect from bank but before i get into all of that stuff guys if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet make sure to go down and smash that subscribe button as well as like the video as i am trying to hit a hundred thousand subscribers by the end of the year and if you guys can help me hit that target i will be doing a cryptocurrency giveaway which you guys can join by simply subscribing to the channel and for a bonus entry follow me on instagram link to that will be in the description box down below so we are currently looking at the candlestick pattern chart with the Fibonacci scale which I will be using later on in the video to do some technical analysis and believe it or not guys the Fibonacci scale is very very useful and so far my predictions have been right but we'll get into that later on in the video so for now let's hide this and let's bring up the usual MACD indicator to do some price prediction as I'm pretty sure that's what most of you guys are here for. So we are looking at the daily chart and at the top here we've got the purple line running across the chart which is the SMA indicator giving us the average value of bonk which is here in purple and we can see that bonk is trading above the average value so so far it is performing quite well and better than expected so let's zoom in into the 30 minute chart for the short term traders and then I'll move on to the hourly daily and weekly chart for the long term investors like myself but before I do that guys just a little disclaimer as usual this is no financial advice I'm not a financial advisor anything I say is from my own prediction and my take on this crypto and any gains or losses you guys make I will not be responsible for so zooming into the 30 minute chart here we do have the blue line looking slightly bearish heading towards the negative direction and the orange line is looking bullish heading towards the positive direction so essentially what we have is two lines going the opposite direction to each other so what does this mean for bonk an overall fluctuation in value is what is expected over the next 12 to 14 hours so by midday tomorrow the crypto should be essentially trading around its current price range is what i'm expecting however in between that time i'm expecting it to hit red candles and green candles it is going to be quite volatile up and down essentially like a wave but the overall outcome seems to be more on the neutral side so fluctuating around this current price range is where i'm expecting bong to be trading at by midday to tomorrow afternoon moving on to the hourly chart next couple of days what can we see here so the blue and the orange line are both looking bullish heading towards the positive direction and they are indeed looking a little bit too steep here the reason they're looking steep is because of the pump that's taken place over the last couple of hours the graph thinks that the crypto is going to keep pumping in that direction and at that pace over the next seven to eight days however that is not the case by the end of next week i'm expecting bonk to have dropped down further in value so trading at a lower value than where it is at the moment again yes it may hit the odd green day in between even though yes over the week it has been hitting green candles and has pumped up over 40 percent over the next week i'm expecting it to drop further potentially about 15 to 20 percent drop or 25 percent somewhere around those figures is where i'm expecting bonk to be dropping to by the end of next week so guys do expect more red days from bonk over the next week or so moving on to the daily chart next couple of weeks now we are looking a little bit bullish we've got the blue and the orange line slanting towards the positive direction heading towards the bullish side meaning an overall minimal gain in value is what is expected from bonk over the next six to eight weeks so early to mid march 2024 the crypto should essentially have gone for an overall increase in value according to the graph however according to me and my predictions i am not expecting that i'm expecting it to crash down further guys dropping value quite a bit trading out much lower value than where it is at the moment is where i'm expecting bank to be trading at by mid-march however 
as you guys know the crypto market is quite volatile so if there are anything out there that can have a potential impact on the value of bonk either in a positive or negative direction i will let you guys know as soon as possible so make sure you guys stay subscribed and turn on the bell notifications to get notified every time i upload so let's get rid of the macd indicator and bring on the fibonacci scale so this is quite interesting guys as you guys can see over the last couple of days it has been fluctuating around the dark green zone so what essentially has happened is it broke out well it dropped into the green zone here broke out into the dark green zone let's have a look this was on the 9th of january about four days ago peaked up to the resistance target dropped back down peaked up again and dropped back down and then what's happened it has hit the lower resistance point here as you guys can see and it has resisted that as well so that is what i mean by over the next 12 to 14 hours it is likely to fluctuate around its current price range and even over the coming days it is likely to fluctuate in the dark green zone resist at this level and by mid to end of next week it should have dropped down into the green zone is what i'm expecting and again it should be fluctuating in the green zone for the next about week or two and then potentially dropping down into the red zone is where i'm expecting bonk to be heading to by mid to late well early to mid february is when i would say i'm expecting bonk to be dropping down into the red zone and from then on it should essentially just keep dropping further below 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 over the next six to eight weeks so by march april time we should be trading at the lowest part well not lowest part but in the lower part of the red zone is what i'm expecting so going into the coin market cap website here we can see the trading volume has dropped down by 10 percent in the last 24 hours making it 265 million dollars in trading again reason for the drop was because the crypto wasn't moving much however because it's just pumped up in value a couple of hours ago i'm expecting more people to start trading the crypto meaning the trading volume is likely to go higher than where it is at the moment over the next couple of hours but yeah this is my take and my prediction on bonk guys what i want you guys to do is let me know in the comment section down below how many zeros are you guys expecting the crypto to get rid of in 2024 or how many zeros is going to add on let me know in the comment section down below as i'm very intrigued to see how many of you guys are bullish and how many of you guys are bearish on this crypto and on that note i'm going to end the video here guys i just want to say a massive thank you to every single one of you who have been subscribing liking commenting and just supporting the channel in any way or form and especially all the subscribers out there thank you guys so much as it helps me out a lot and means a lot to me as i am trying to hit 100k by the end of the year and at the end of the day guys it is free to subscribe so why don't you go down and smash that subscribe button and like the video and i'll catch all of you guys in my next crypto update which should hopefully be later on today or tomorrow until then take care and peace